Hey guys, Pitmaster here. I'm here with Vato. We're gonna talk about weaponry, okay? Now, a weapon is an equalizer to keep you safe. In other words, if I'm gonna fight Adrian for whatever reason, I would probably use my fists, okay? Now, if Adrian grabbed a sword, right? If Adrian grabbed a sword, I need an equalizer, so I'm not gonna use my fists anymore. Should I pick up a rolled up magazine? Because I hear those are really good weapons. So should I fight the sword with a rolled up magazine? I don't know what you're supposed to do with a rolled up magazine. I really don't, but some people say you can use them as a weapon. You can use them to spank your dog maybe, but you cannot use this as a weapon against someone who's either trying to punch you in the face or stab you with a sword. So let's scratch this one. This is useless. A kubaton. It's not really, but it looks like one. I'm gonna pretend it is. A lot of people put these on their keychains and they think they're weapons because they find they find like little pressure, pressure points. Stab me hard? Yeah. Oh, compress. Ah! Oh, see, I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be used for. It's on your keychain. It might help you find your keychain better, but if he pulls out a sword and you pull out a kubaton, you are screwed. So very defenseless weapon. Even if he was just a bigger man and I was a woman and I got a kubaton and he was punching me in the face, I don't know what I would do. It's useless, okay? So no kubaton, no rolled up uh, magazine. Okay, now. Here's a, here, this is a uh, potential weapon. I've been actually practicing with this and it's kind of, it's kind of handy. <laughs> like if I'm holding it like this and some guy's messing with me, I would bring it right up and hit him in the throat. <laughs> this would hurt in the yeah. throat. Hey, yeah. you should come up with a, a self-defense iPhone case. Just use your iPhone as a neck poker. <laughs> yeah, you can pa, whoosa. Okay, so now, let me, let me show you another one. If you're gonna have a kubaton, a, a, a pocket knife versus a kubaton, they're about the same size, closed. You can use this knife as a kubaton. Everything a kuba, kubaton does, you can use it on pressure points, etc. right? The difference is with the, with the knife, you can actually open it and take it to the next level. What if the person you're fighting has a knife? He has a knife, I have a kubaton. Who are you gonna put your money on? The blade with the sharp point and the, and the very sharp edge that could slice my carotid? Or a kubaton that might find, find a pressure point? With a knife, you don't need to find the pressure point. It makes its own. A knife will make its own pressure point. Wherever it goes in your body, it's a pressure point. <laughs> it's a pressure point. So common sense says this is the size of a kubaton, but you can take it to the next level and use it for a life or death attack. A kubaton you can, so non-lethal. But for lethal, bing, you need a knife. A kubaton will not cut it. Okay, so it, it will, will not cut, cut it. Now you might think I'm going a little extreme. No guys, carrying this around would be extreme. Carrying this around is just safe. It's just good common sense. All right, so this might be a little more effective in an open area, a sword, more, uh, might be more effective than a pocket knife, right? But guess what, you can't really carry this with any kind of uh, discretion. You can carry this. And let me tell you something else. He's walking around the street like that, right? Everybody's gonna see it. The cops are gonna pull him over. They're gonna arrest him. But guess what? If he pulls it open during the, in the street, he can win almost every fight. Except, oh, against this which you cannot see and is very concealable, okay? And it is unloaded, by the way, guys. Just, could, you, could you use that as a kubaton? I could use this as a kubaton, but I'm not gonna do it right now because it's kind of scary to hit people with this. This could be used as all kinds of things. And it's very concealable, while the sword isn't. The kubaton is very concealable. 
but it's very ineffective. The knife is very concealable. It's very effective, right? But not as effective in long range. Then the sword is more effective, but then you got a gun that's concealable that's even more effective. So, when it comes to weaponry, context is everything. Context. Context is everything. All right. Now, whatever weapon you you choose to to uh, use, any weapon you choose to use, even whether it's a sword, a gun, a kubaton, a knife, a rolled up paper, or an iPhone, whatever weapon you choose to use and makes you feel safest, go for it. But please use it safely and practice with it and become proficient. Practice. Practice, drill, practice, drill, over and over again, okay? Two main things, guys. Proficiency and safety, P and S. P &S. Any weapon you use, you need to be proficient and you need to use it safely, all right? So stay safe out there, guys. Thanks for coming. If you have any comments, please leave them. Please share this, please subscribe, and I'll see you later.